today I am doing a little adventuring. I'm going to the Anchorage Museum and then I think a few little gift shops that I found that seem really cool. I'm kind of doing like slow adventuring because I feel more like I'm living here and I have a lot of editing and filming to do. Here's today's fit. You can't really see. Hold on. I'm like also trying, you're on my laptop. I'm trying to get some things sorted onto my hard drive. Here's the fit. You should know that I'm double layered everywhere. I have a pair of Target leggings on underneath my jeans. These are from PacSun. This is just a shirt that I got at Goodwill forever ago. And then this is a sweater from Airy, I'm pretty sure. And wool socks. Let's see. Hi Hank. How you doing? You're doing good. So ah. let's go to a museum. trail you get to walk through like this little garden there's so much snow there's so much snow hello yes and then are you a museum member i'm not work? so my understanding is that this museum is basically a history of alaska a lot of native history a lot about the railroads like this sounds like all aboard i think there's because the alaska railroad is like big massive thing and kind of the reason that alaska exists in the way it does now. I'm really interested to see, especially like the native history. Apparently Anchorage used to be a tent city. Like when it was first with the railroad and when it was a territory, it was like, they look at, these are just tents. Hello. Look at all these massive starfish. Okay, I was in that mall for a good two and a half hours. Not mall, that was a museum. And it was really cool. And they really delved into like the differences between different native groups in Alaska and what they did. That was honestly really cool. But now I'm going to Moose Creek Trading Post. I think that's what it's called. Because souvenirs, obviously. simply not warm out there at all but i went into two different gift shops i only got something out the first one that i went to both of these things that i got are if you've been following me you may know that i like to get souvenirs for my future house i'm just dropping my water bottle i like to get plates and bowls and cups and like kitchenware and stuff like that that i'm going to need when i have my own place so that all my things can be from places that i've been so I found two very cool things. The second one is honestly, it's so cool. I love it so much. So this is basically a washcloth, but it's like this kind of stiff material that's like dried. And then when you get it wet, obviously, then it acts more like a rag, but it has a mousse on it. It's designed in this Alaskan native kind of style that a lot of the artwork is designed in. So cool. And then I also got, so these are ceramic measuring cups that nest and they can go in the dishwasher. There's like, look, this is a fourth cup. It says in the bottom fourth cup and it has hummingbirds, but in like also in that Alaskan native design style. And then there's four of them. So there's third cup here and then this half cup and then a cup at the bottom and they nest together. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I know this is such like a adult thing to be excited about, but I have yet to find cool measuring cups from somewhere that I've been to add to my growing collection of things. So this, honestly, the coolest addition ever. I mean, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm so excited about these. Also, if you watched my last video, you'll know that I bought way, oh my God, that's a moose. Oh my God, that was a whole moose just on the street. I actually saw a baby moose like two days ago, just on the sidewalk. That was, that was a whole moose. Okay, um, wow. 
Anyway, if you've watched my last video, you'll know that I bought way more groceries than I thought, at least money. Like the amount of groceries I bought wasn't a lot, but it cost $100. Since I was already out in Anchorage, I was maybe I'll just like get lunch somewhere. But I literally just, oh, we have food my, at home myself. Like I just did that to myself, like a parent to a child, but it was me to myself because I need to eat the groceries that I bought. That's called traveling on a budget. That's what that is called. You're shaking. Oh, now you stopped. That was it? Now that I pulled the camera out, you're like, actually I'm done making biscuits? Okay. Oh, that was close. Whoa. <laughs> like, I don't know if I trust this. Woo. <laughs> Okay, so today, it's the next day, and I'm wearing a hat partially because it's negative 16 degrees outside and partially because my hair is starting to get greasy. Um, but today, we're not doing too much because I have a lot of editing to do to get tomorrow's video up. There's this reindeer that's apparently just like a pet of Anchorage. Um, so we're gonna go see that. We're gonna drive down what is supposed to be historic 4th Street just to see. And there's also, there's this place that sells reindeer hot dogs, but it's like a stand, so I don't know if it'll be open in winter, so we're just gonna drive past it and see, and then I'm, I don't know, we're just, we're just gonna, we're going out basically just so that we can go out and not be in the house all day, and then I'm gonna come back and edit for like several hours. Maybe we'll do something else, maybe we'll do like a little hike when I'm out there. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we'll see some more moose. Maybe I'll actually get it on camera this time. Okay, so now we're turning on to 4th Street. Oh, this is not a one-way. Okay, good to know. Most of the streets here are one-ways. This is just definitely reminding me of like old town, pretty much anywhere in the US, just kind of like old little town. That right there is the Festival Headquarters and Dog Mushing Hall of Fame. I think every little small town city has, of course. I'm not calling Anchorage a small town. This is just the vibes that it's giving right now. Okay, there's the cage. I don't see a reindeer right now. I don't know if he's in there. This whole outing is about to be a bust if this reindeer is not here. I didn't get to have reindeer sausage. I didn't get to see a reindeer. I mean, I did, I did do an intentional stroll down 4th Avenue or 4th Street. Wow, it's really hard to see though. Yeah, don't see a reindeer. Don't see a reindeer. Cool. Okay, well, normally there is reindeer, so... You know, holy <laughs> I just realized that that was the one way. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Can I go this way? <laughs> oh, that was recording, good. I hate there being so many one ways. This one didn't have a sign. It didn't say that it was a one way going that way. Oh my God. Ugh. I need to go home. I need to go back home. This day has been, uh, I just need to go home. I just need to make some food, I think. Wow. Oh, I'm sweating. Okay, cool. Okay, I just, <laughs> I just pulled off on this little like, Lagoon Trail. I don't even know. I just needed to walk. Even I just needed to be outside for a second. I just needed to calm down. <laughs> I've never, I've never had that happen. Wow. On the other hand, this is very pretty, and I definitely should be wearing my overalls for this right now. But I'm not gonna be out here very long. I'm not gonna like actually hike. I just need to like breathe for a minute, and then I'm gonna go back home and make a grilled cheese. I'm gonna make a grilled cheese. That sounds good. <laughs> There's this little loop trail around the, this little bit of forest right here. And I literally just ran it for no other purpose other than I had to have energy and I need to get it out. I don't run ever. I used to be in track, but I don't run. Wow, my hair's freezing and it's not even wet. It like looks white. Ooh. Look at the pretty mountains. I don't know how well you can see them from here, but they look closer up, not on camera. There you go, you can see the mountains a little bit better there. They're so pretty.
So I just made a grilled cheese out of the sourdough bread that the people who live here left. They said I could use it. And I used some white cheddar and mozzarella. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I, this is gonna be so good. All right, are we ready? It's probably hot still, <laughs> but okay. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. Okay, so today we have a little bit of a situation going on. It is supposed to snow pretty a lot in the afternoon like i think there's a winter weather advisory for like four to eight inches or something but it's not supposed to start until 2 p.m and it's like 10 right now and also the sun has just risen oh hello a cat has entered the space i would show you but um my hands are very busy right now. There's this, it's like Eagle Creek Nature Center or something like that. There's a trail that I really wanna hike and the drive there is like through the mountains, through the valley. It's supposed to like look really pretty. And so I really wanna do this today. I wasn't going to yesterday because I was editing and also it was really cold yesterday. I was like, I'll do it today. Well, there's gonna be some big snow happening. <laughs> I need to finish this eat breakfast, bring snacks, because I'll be hungry, and I am, <laughs> you know, going through all my groceries that I bought, and then be back before the snow gets too bad. Hopefully, we shall see. We shall see. Man, there is nothing so exhausting for your arms than trying to braid your hair. And mine takes like twice as long because my hair is curly, so when you pull it up, it all wants to be wonky, so then you have to like straighten it out every single time. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of work. And yes, I am from Minnesota, so I am very much used to driving in deep snow and when it's snowing, so like that's not really an issue, but I am driving somebody else's car in an entirely different state, and if something does happen, <laughs> what then? So, you know, I just, I'd just rather be more careful than not, you know? Seems smart. Okay, that is definitely, Definitely not my best work, but it's going under a hat, so it doesn't really matter. It just needs to be out of my face. I'm just eating a really quick little granola breakfast, and then I'm packing some snacks, and we're gonna get on the road. This view is just insane. Like, we're just driving straight to mountains. Like, oh my gosh. Look at this. We're not even on the actual road that's supposed to be super pretty yet. Like. We're not even there yet. Oh my gosh. Look, so here there's even Part of the Iditarod, the actual like trail that's part of here too. This is so, this is so pretty. There's just something about hiking in winter, winter trails, especially it's when it's snowing and this is like such beautiful fluffy snow too. It just, and the sound of your crunching feet. Oh my gosh. I love, love winter trails. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's like ducks. I think they're ducks right there. Oh my goodness. Got me almost tripping. <laughs> So do you see this snow that I'm walking on right now? This is packed up pretty high because that, that is a bench. I don't know if I'll be able to, like that's a bench. <laughs> the snow is packed high enough to where I'm walking level with a bench. That's wild. Wait, how, 
how is this water not frozen like it's it's moving it's flowing i do not understand like even the ocean is frozen over like how what is in this water Okay, I do not know what just happened because it looked like the tree was alive. And see that that snow that just like fell from this tree right here. Like it just all, it looked like the tree was alive and like, like the Whomping Willow. And it just like, and then the snow fell off. I said it before and I'll say it again, but what in the Narnia is this? Like, why, why is it alive? <sighs> what? I do not because <laughs> i literally saw that tree move like it went okay that's cool that's cool. cool 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 oh my god i just saw that tree do it too it just did the same thing it was full of snow and it all just went and it dropped hello so now we're on the iditarod like the actual oh i just filmed the whole little thing and then realized i wasn't filming so anyway but this is literally the iditarod trail like that over here and then like this part goes back up to the nature center like the eagle river nature center where i like parked and where i started but like that's the trail like i did a rod started because there's like an epidemic or like flu big issue happening in anchorage and like it was winter so nobody could get anything up here so a dog sled team had to race the medicine up there and this is literally the trail and it became the Iditarod like dog sled race that happens every year. It's just so wild. I like have heard about it my whole life and I didn't even mean to come. Like I wasn't like, oh, I hope I can walk on the Iditarod trail. No, like it just happens to be in this park and I didn't even realize that. That's so cool. I'm going to go just walk down the Iditarod trail a little bit. That's also part of the Iditarod over there, but I just want to go walk down there a little bit. I'm probably going to take some pictures just because it's a data rod. That's so cool. I didn't even plan on coming to this. Like, this is so cool. The way somebody started walking up the trail towards where I was just taking pictures, the second that I put away my tripod, like, literally could not have had better timing for that i've otherwise i've so far not seen a single person which is honestly what you need when you're doing a winter trail you don't want to see a single other soul not because you're like oh bad people but just because there's something about a winter snowy trail you just want complete solitude just you and the snow and the trees and like the silence that winter brings oh yeah that's the good stuff